Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to JTV's Game of the Week. I'm Harry Ferrone. And I'm Easton Noble. And uh, we're here today to bring you some boys lacrosse action. Today we've got the Jackson Liberty Lions against the Colts Neck Cougars. Sounds like a cat fight to me. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. And uh, it looks like we've got a little connection issue with the bus there, but I think I got it fixed. Should be good to go now. Uh, it's big eclipse day here. Our Mr. Noble and our fancy tech crew was out here this afternoon shooting uh, the eclipse while uh, Ferone had better things to do, uh, building a set for the Ferronis, which is in just 18 days away. And uh, we'll be celebrating uh, 100 years of Disney at the show. It's on August 20, August, I'm sorry, April 25th. And uh, you can get tickets at Ferronis.com. It's a night of uh, entertainment. We also give out some video awards. Should be a fun night. We'll get you some more details on that later. But uh, as we get underway here in just a minute, players to watch here, you got Paul Capozzi and Jeff White here for Liberty, the leading scorers from last ah. season. Here we go with the face-off. Looks like the Colts has possession. Marco Garcia working his way down the field. Passes it off. Trying to maneuver their way into center to score a goal. You know, you'll see here players are looking to space things out, look for an opening. Drops the ball. Tyler Bowden takes a shot on goal and it's up and over. And that'll be white ball. Liberty ball. And some substitution taking place there. Looks like they'll have to come on and off in the same spot there. In case you had noticed there, the defensive player sticks a little bit longer than the offensive players. This here is number five. That's Jacob Bandelt. Timeout is called. Uh, the uh, game is played. We play uh, four 12 minute quarters. And uh, I believe they each get two timeouts per, uh, two, two timeouts per quarter. Pretty, pretty sure. Or eh, at the very least, at the very most, if not two timeouts per half. We'll see how that shapes up. Uh, both teams uh, really dealing with some awful weather last week during the kickoff to the season. And uh, obviously lacrosse not the only teams to be dealing with bad weather. Baseball and softball took a pretty big lump last week as well as the weather in New Jersey was less than ideal for spring sports. And pretty much all the games that were going on today here at school, start times got pushed back to take into account for the solar eclipse. Did you get a, God bless you, did you get a chance to check out that eclipse there? Yeah, it was um pretty, pretty nice. Wasn't full, oh, and here we go. All right, back underway. Uh, looks like Capozzi, Capozzi. Nice block by the goalie. That was Jeff White, really nice block by the goalkeeper. That is number 30. Aaron. Nazimov. Another nice block by the goalie. That was absolute save. Shot on goal save. Two saves for Goalkeeper so far. This one scooped up by number 10. That is Luke Petrino. Uh, 
that's Patino. I apologize. Oh, takes a, Yeah, it took a big chunk of grass out too. We'll send him a bill for that one. Ball gets loose. This is Ketra dropped his stick. Caught by the goalie. Clears it off to number three. Joey Acardino. Acardino had a pretty severe uh, ankle injury during football season. Has recovered nicely, rehabbed himself back into uh, action here. And that is Capozzi working his way in. Passes it off to Jeff White. They strip the ball and the steal. That is 14. Eden Manasa. Strip from behind. Joe LaFerge. And the yellow flag comes out. Passes it off to the number 28, Luke Ferreira. Back over to Tyler Bowden. Quick pass. Shot on goal, that one's gonna go wide. Cross, uh, pretty much a booming sport at the high school level for both males and females, and lots of club leagues getting started. Easton, how long have you been playing for? About three years. How do you like it? It's, it's definitely fun. Very um, competitive and physical. Ah. Those nobles, they like those uh, competitive physical sports. It's the center. Nice pass. Shot on goal. And that's going to be good. That goal. Is number 22. That's Brett Deathmosis. Sure, I just completely destroyed his his last name. <laughs> and uh, out in front here, Colts neck. First one to strike. Goes up 1-0 here. Going with the face off with number seven, Liam Hutchko, and number 12. Not on there. Colts next got possession. Uh, Tyler Bowden's been pretty active so far early on in this game. About six minutes left to play in the first quarter as he hustles downfield. Defense poking and prodding to try and break that ball loose. Passed over to Patino. And the Liberty defense scoops it up. Jose Martinez. The goalie. Goalie's going to clear it to number 11. Another flag. And it looks like they have some substitutions going. I'm not sure what happened with the foul there. Any Me idea? neither. Yeah. Just out of earshot, quite hear what he said. 
so I thought I heard the word man down. I think that he just um, fell on the ground. Oh, okay. I thought maybe they got, somebody got yanked. One. Oh, no. They're man down because of the foul. So number 10 is out. All right, there you go. And he's got about a minute to come back in. So right now, Colesnack is down a player. Okay. Opportunity for Liberty to try and strike here. Shot on goal, but it's a miss. And Colt Stack back on the move. Coach calls the timeout. Yep. Coach calls the timeout. Take a look at the replay here of everybody running off. Shout out to Mr. Noble, who's bringing us our uh, drone uh, footage today. The sun breaking out here for the first time in a while. It's definitely getting warmer. Let's hope it stays out. About five minutes left to play in the first quarter. And again, the uh, Cougars up by one. <laughs> Pretty good time out there. Both goalkeepers hustled back to their respective goals. Matt LaBianca, the goalkeeper for Liberty, and number 30, Aaron Nazimov for the Cougars. Looks like they're going to start with number 11 with the ball. Now you'll notice that the offense and the defense, I guess, can't pass the fifth, the, the halfway line, huh? Yep. Keeps things a little less crowded over there. If you've ever seen a bunch of six-year-olds playing soccer, you know why this is a good rule. It's a shot oh. and it's a goal. Number 24, Jay Molina. <laughs> Looks like that one bounced in, too. We'll take a look at that replay. Unless they're teasing us on the bus, Easton. I know I heard the sound effect. Oh, there it is. Or uh, maybe not. That's okay. I think we got a new guy on instant replay. It's okay. All righty. And we're ready for the faceoff again. Oh, there it is. Yep, he bounced that one in. Uh, Paul Caposi from Liberty on the faceoff. And face Marco Garcia for the Cougars. Green went early, so it's white ball. Fakes a pass. And Kaposi still holding the ball. Shot, another nice block on the bounce shot. Clears it off to number 33. Not exactly sure what happened here. Me neither. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on out on the field. But ball's still going in that direction, so. Molina passes it off.
And he bounces it, a little bounce pass across the middle. Goes behind the goal. Only one player hanging out by the crease. Oop, looked like he was ready to take a shot. And Kaposi tried to knock him out of bounds with the ball to get possession, but he got rid of it just in time. Colts that comes out with the ground ball. Very explosive speed comes in handy. Pulls it back on to X. That's going to be a foot race to the ball. And the Cougars resetting their offense again. Passes it on to the middle. Tino passes it. Tries to get a foul shot there, but misses. Molina's going to miss wide there. Oh, pretty good pass, but he can't maintain possession. Now, uh, Ruberty's got the ball. Now, trying to drive it upfield. Got a helmet hit there. Definitely. Sure. Another shot on goal. Save number three for La Bianca. And Joey Accardino. Kolsnick has it in there. Cougars back with possession. Bringing it back up field. Substitution, it looks like. Nineteen seconds, they'll probably take it down to ten and then go for a shot on goal. And here they go on the move. Pass Misses. goes wide. That's probably going to do it. Well, that's the end of the first quarter. All right, the Colts are up 2-0 here. Early on. In lacrosse, it's definitely easy to have the scores change quick, so you can never know what could happen with the scores. Uh, you know what? I think that's one of the fun things about lacrosse, in that the league can change uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, definitely. Goals, uh, goals are scored uh, so fast. You could you can reel off a, um, a bunch of points in a pretty short amount of time. Yeah, you definitely can. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna take a short break while the two teams sort things out between the two quarters and we'll be back in just a minute. Right back out. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that commercial about uh, sod. You can purchase that sod with uh, Ethan Noble at Sods R Us, and uh, it's good to be back. A little confusion with my crew on the bus who uh, didn't feel like clicking the commercial button. Couldn't tell you why. And again, uh, Colts up 2-0 here. Well, I think ref just blowed whistle. They should all be come, coming back out shortly. That's funny. Based on the instant replays we've seen so far, we must have a rookie on the instant replay as well. I think, uh, what do we see? Two the entire uh, quarter there, Easton? What do you think? Yeah, only two. Yeah, yeah. We have a song for that. Pay cuts coming your way. All right. And All right, got, ready for the new face-off here. We got Paul Capozzi from Liberty taking the face-off. And it's, it's pretty good. Tyler Bowden's been doing a lot of it, but it's hard to tell. I see his back from here. Let's see when he turns. We got it right. It looks like 13. That's Marco Garcia. And they end up on the ground. And Colsack gaining possession. And in case you uh, fell asleep there, folks, the uh, teams have switched ends. Shot on goal, Ooh, just wide. Both uh, goalkeepers with four saves so far on the day. We got Brett, actually, Liberty taking the ball. And that looks like uh, Peter LaBianca. Scooped up there by number one, Joey Acardino. When he gets out in the open field, he's pretty quick. He's got some good moves there, as you can see. Running back in football. Uh, pretty nice got moves there. Got a replay on the shot on goal here. There we go. A little bit wide left. Paul Capozzi is taking the ball from center. Pretty quiet day for Paul so far. Takes it behind the goal. Goes for the shot and it is going to be wide right. Close. Definitely roughing him up inside there, huh? Yeah. Paul Capozzi, one of Liberty's finest. Pretty active on the uh, on the lacrosse circuit. Does some training with some younger kids, if I'm not mistaken. Me? Yes, he does. A little training there for Easton. And the yellow flag gets thrown here. Colesnack doing a substitution. A little jawing going on between somebody from one of the coaching staffs and one of the refs. Looks like Number eight, Chris got a penalty and is now in the box. And this is Jeff White to Capozzi. Over to Anthony Lynch. Makes a shot and oh. it does not go in. Wide right. Ball 
comes back in. Sub substitution's taking place. Get some fresh legs out on the field for both teams. Nice scoop up there by Patino. Who's off the shot and it was blocked. Nice save there by Matt LaBianca. Kose gets the ground ball. Bringing it back up to center field. Oop. Mrs. Sakajic goes out of bounds. Took a bad bounce there. And here we take a look at that ball. And our ricochets past the stick. It's like scooped up the ground ball. Trying to drive the ball in. Communication pretty key. Ball's gonna slip out. Scooped up by Jacob Bandelt. Passes it to Capozzi. Oh. And the flag gets thrown since. Get a replay on that if we that's have gonna one. Be a, yeah, that was a headshot for sure. Take a look at the replay. Turns around and gets ran right into. I have a blindside hit. Eight minutes left in the quarter. Capozzi with the ball. Jeff White ends up on the ground. And white ball. Shots Takes on the goal. Shot and saved again. Queers it off to number 16, or 18 actually. Passes it to the middle. Shoots it and it does not go in. Nope, kind of deflected by LaBianca. Defense trying to poke their stick to get that ball. Goes back behind the goal. Gets the shot and it goes in. And it's good. Another score here. I'll have to take a look at the replay to see who that was. Number 11, Tyler Bowden. And Bowden picks up his first score of the day. I'm going to start with the face off here. Cougar is going to go up. B zero. And here we go. Good defensive play there by the Lions. A lot of stick play it's here. Like Colts neck wins that ground ball. Looking for an open man. Ball pops up. Once again, they're 
Cougars looking to set something up from behind that goal, spread things out. Gives it to the middle, goes for a shot, and the goalie saves it. Matt LaBianca with his seventh save of the day. Clear it off to... Scoop back up by Kolsnack again. Goes for a shot, and oh. that was a close one. You see, he gets the block, deflects it, it lands right next to his foot. And he's able to keep it from going in, so. He's the replay. See, there's that fine shot on goal. A stick save, he blocked it. Where'd the ball go? Oh, it's right next to my foot. Shot, and a timeout called by the Cougars. 5.21 left to play. And the score, 3-0 with Colts Neck up. Been a pretty tight game so far. Uh, Colts Neck able to capitalize a little bit more on those Able to capitalize a little bit more on those opportunities, really. And that's, you know, that's obviously a key. Get the opportunities when you're able to convert those opportunities into uh, points. That's good. I don't care who you cheer for, we just need the kids to be inspired. Let's go, Ref blows the whistle. Colts net taking their positions. Uh, lacrosse has certainly opened up opportunities for a lot more students uh, to get involved in, in a sport. Uh, the boys teams now during the spring season have a uh, few things available to them. They have lacrosse. You've got uh, baseball, track, and volleyball all in the same season. So yeah. the uh, athletes that look to play multiple sports really needs to pick wisely there because uh, there are so many good opportunities. And Colsnack starting with the ball. Misses the scoop there. What do you think is easier, a scoop off the ground or a catch it in the air? Probably a catch in the air. Catch in the air. Goalie trying to find someone to clear it to. You can see it's slippery out there. That's the third or fourth person we've seen today. Slip a bit. A lot of stoppage of times here. The, uh, the clock gets stopped pretty much every time the ball's reset. The pass is behind the goal the and they miss the catch. Looks like Liberty gets the ball. You know, you can really see like the entire game, uh, the Colts neck team really pressuring Paul Capozzi, really not giving him a whole lot of breathing room. Uh, he's getting a lot of attention. Giving it to the right field, trying to drive in there. That ball comes loose. Tries to push him out of bounds, so the ball gets loose. 
just attacking. Throws it down and Colson gets the ball. Pass through the middle. Drops a stick there. And it's a shot. shot. Does not go in. Goalie makes another incredible save. He's having himself a good day in the net. Gets pushed. Caught up in some traffic. Kind of moving the ball along on the ground. Goes out of bounds. Think it's now Liberty's ball. 243 left to play. Shout out to our graphics person, Maria, here doing a good job of keeping track of the clock and the score and everything that's going on. Looks like actually Coltsnet gets the ball. And the offense is on the move again. Brings it to behind the goal. Oh, opportunity there. Scuffed up by Peter LaBianca. He's now driving it upfield. So they call a timeout there. It's a replay. Gets pushed from behind there. Looked like it was in his, uh, in his, still looked like it was in there. Hard to tell. Sun beginning to work its way down the horizon here. Still cold though. Our camera operator, Rachel, has essentially lit a small fire under her camera to stay warm. Score is 3-0 with Colsnack winning. Two thirteen left to play. <laughs> Ref blows a whistle. Now Liberty's taking their positions. <laughs> Followed by Colsnack. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be Colts neck ball, right? Yeah, I think they had so. The timeout, so it should be their ball. We got actually Liberty starting with the ball. Yard sale. Stick gets knocked out. His hands. Misses the catch. Knocks it loose. Nice check there by um, number 29. Who knocked the stick out and everything. Uh oh, and he's oh. wide open. And makes a shot, and now Kolsak have four, Liberty zero. And another score here for the Colts. And that looked like 
Number 24. 24 on the score, Jay Molina. Here we go with uh, another face-off. Looks like Paul Capozzi taking it again. This Colts deck need this Colts deck team striking uh, striking quickly. They're aggressive on defense too. Colts deck comes out with possession. Nice dodge there. Oh, gets hit in the head. Had the flag in his hand, but he held it. 106 left to play in the half. Makes his move. Misses. Get a replay on that helmet hit if we can. Little shot on goal there and it's blocked. Substitutions coming in. Looks like number three gets a penalty on Liberty. Is that shot nicely blocked and defended. Passes it off. Tries to go for the shot. Grand ball there goes for the bounce. Oh, another shot. good block. Clears it off and it gets blocked. Goldsnack scoops it up again. Fifteen seconds left until halftime. Number five needs to come out for 30 seconds. They're now two players down on Liberty. And they've got about 15 seconds to get by here. Now one player returns at 11. Looks like I think Colts next gonna start with the ball. It's really hard to do something with only 17 seconds left on the clock. Number 24 takes it from the side. Goes for a shot, does not make it in. Now there's six seconds left. And the clock's going to run out. Well, I think now that's halftime. And that is halftime. And we've got Colts Neck up 4 0 here as that Colts Neck offense just quick strike. Uh, what do you think about that Colts Neck defense there? We talk about the offense. What do you think about the defense? It's pretty good defense on Colts Neck. You could definitely see them like jabbing their stick, trying to get that ball. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna take a short break for a commercial and we'll see you back for the second half. Don't go anywhere. Yes. 
plastic's alright. Cardboard's a delight. When you recycle, you're doing your part. So wrap up all you can to help your fellow man. Keep the planet healthy wherever you roam. You're not acting alone. The earth is your home. Yeah, yeah. When you recycle, you're safe. sick? Mm. Have you been sneezing? Mm. Well, I'm gonna teach you proper sneezing etiquette. Yeah. Step one, prepare to sneeze. <gasps> Step two, grab a tissue. Hey, here's your tissue. Thank you. Step three, cover your nose and mouth with the tissue. Step four, sneeze. Gotcha. Step five, throw it out. Hey, here's the garbage. Thank you. Step six, go wash your hands. Ew. What to do if you don't have a tissue? Step one, prepare to sneeze. <gasps> Step two, no tissue. Oh, I don't have a tissue. No. Step three, sneeze in the inside of your elbow. Ah, Step four, wash your hands. You have the power to save a life. Cardiac arrest isn't rare, but surviving it is. Over 300,000 people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest every year. About 8% survive, and it's not only the elderly that can experience these life-altering events. The number one killer of young athletes is sudden cardiac arrest, because a young athlete dies from cardiac incident once every three days in the United States. About 80% of the cardiac arrests that occur are outside of a hospital. About 89% of those victims don't survive, because people around them don't know how to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's very simple. You can help save a life. The American Heart Association changed its protocol for the public to hands-only CPR, which means when a witness cardiac arrest occurs, a bystander like you can call 911 and begin external chest compressions immediately by pushing hard and fast in the center of the chest while awaiting arrival of the first responders. It's very straightforward. Your immediate action can help save a life. Learn hands-only CPR. What would it take to change the world? Provide food to the hungry and water to the thirsty. Teach children to read and keep them healthy. Shelter families and train a new generation. Give the poor a chance to better themselves. Create a worldwide network of peacemakers and conquer a disease that has killed or crippled millions. Could one person do it? What about 1.2 million? Yeah, my name is Frank Wessel. Cameron DeWill. Gaston Cabat. Ted Draper. Eu sou Adélia Vilas. Dr. Naresh Goyer. Meu nome é Awal Mahu. Gary Parrish. My name is Warren Kaufman. Lisa Simmons. Eric Kimani. Meu nome é Eduardo. Marie Singh Arora. Megan Coutinho. These men and women are changing the world. They're members of Rotary. Professionals and community leaders organized into more than 32,000 clubs worldwide. 
They volunteer at the local, regional, and international levels and dedicate themselves to a simple motto, service above self. That's what Rotary is all about. Vision to see, faith to believe, and courage to act. So many of us, we sit back and we go, gee, I'd really like to help somewhere in the world, but I don't know how to do it. And Rotary gives you all the tools you need. I personalmente vengo. Just the fact that you are a Rotarian opens doors all over the world. For members of Rotary, no project is too big. Working with UNICEF, the World Health Organization, and the CDC, Rotary has immunized more than two billion children against polio and reduced the disease by more than 99% worldwide. With not too many dollars, these uh, Rotarians and, and our partners are doing a tremendous job, very effectively, very efficiently. Rotary has spent more than $500 million on international scholarships and foreign exchange. While its graduate level programs in conflict resolution train peacemakers from around the world. When I started working for Interpol at the United Nations, I already had the background to understand international relations. For Rotary members, the reward is immense and immediate. Helping others is uh, one of the things that they really enjoy. It makes my day. The salary I receive spiritually is so huge that you cannot put a value on it. Being a Rotarian is almost selfish. Yes, I help people, but I... Hey, welcome back. I'm Harry Farone. And we are bringing you the Liberty Lions versus the Colts Neck Cougars here. The Cougars up 4-0 after the first half. As we reset things, uh, what do the Lions uh, need to do to get things moving here, Easton? Well, they really, it's all about passing and trying to find someone that can drive in towards the goal and pull that shot off. Yeah, I really think uh, offensively they you could try and get a spark here. Goalie's driving up field pretty far. Scoop back up by number five. And once again, Colts neck. Setting up offensively from behind the net. Goes for the 11 shot. opens up. Bounces off. Looks like number 19. Not even sure where that bounced. Did it bounce off somebody's leg? I think it bounced off number 19, yeah. Oh boy. Went out of bounds. Now it's. That's going to leave a mark. Tyler Bowden passes it off. Both teams have a little break after halftime, come back with some fresh legs. And that one's, oh, stays in. Uh, Colts next to with the ball. <laughs> well, that's picked off by Capozzi. Drives it back up field. Moving his way back up. Passes it off to Jeff White. Nice check there, but Did. he still picks back up with the ball. A gang attack there as four defenders. Oh, nobody checks the ball from Coke Snack. Passes it off to the center. Ten trying to drive in there. I think we need a replay on that. I felt that from here. I haven't seen an attack that strong to go for that. since the last time I saw your dad go after a piece of steak. So the goalie, goalie clears it off to number five. Defense rushes up. Oh. Midfield, midfielder Paul Caposi stays back. Defender here coming back. 
Acardino has, passes it off to Capozzi. Acardino trying to get in the center so Capozzi can pass off. Fakes out the shot. And, and it's good. Got close neck for Liberty one. And Capozzi passes that on the assist to Jeff White who comes away with the first score for Liberty for the day. We'll go take a look at the replay. Here's this pass. Across the field, White, and bounce score. Good. Here we go with a, another face-off, number seven from Liberty. It's Liam Hutchko. And then we got number 13 from Colts Neck, who is Marco Garcia. Ball's loose. Looks like it's white ball. Don't know how that happened. Acredino is going to put it in play. Whistle blows. Play continues. Sets a pick there. Oh, he's trying to run it up towards a goal. Over to number one, shot on goal just wide. And that's gonna roll out of bounds. It looks like it rolled out. And it's gonna be a green ball. Thanks, let's use that replay. He goes across number one. And that sails over. Yep. That's white ball, though. Must have clipped the stick. Here we go. Check, and the. There's a foul there. Posey ended up on his back. Ball goes for the shot and it's in. And goal number two here is the Lions how making an adjustment. Proves how fast these scores can change. And that was number one. Uh, that was Joey Accardino with the score. And we were just talking about this: how quick the the scores can change. And uh, Liberty gets that halftime adjustment, comes out, scores uh, a couple of goals here in four minutes. Got, oh, checks him so his stick falls out of his hand. We got a de defender with the ball. Ball comes loose. They are scrapping for the ball. It's pushed out by Joey Acredino. It's going to be a green ball as looks like they called a push on Acardino there. Let's see, if we can drops see the what ball. happens here. This play takes a little too long to develop that. We'll get back live here. Cougars looking to answer after two goals scored quickly by the Lions. Throws it back behind to X. trying to find that open gap there to hopefully squeeze in and get a shot off. Again, it's trying to pass to other people so can someone, hoping for someone to get in there. Oh, knocks the ball loose. Check his ankle there, it looks like. Get a replay on that if we can. It's like you're not allowed to take somebody out at the ankles with the stick. Yeah, no, definitely. That is, uh, that is a no-no. 
like. like Liberty getting a penalty. No, man down. Houston that and the goalie saves it. Goalie here, Queen get off to Joey Acredino. Trying to rush up field to get that ball to the other side. <laughs> replay on that. Goal there just goes inside of the goal. Also looks like we got a substitution. with the ball, passes it off. Picked off. Oh, gets pushed. And it's good. Cold snack goes up 5-2 here. Replay, hopefully, on that goal there. You can see what happens here. She's got number 24, bounces it off the ground right into the goal. We're going in with uh, another face off here. About five minutes and 23 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Looks like the Cougars took advantage of their power play. We got our midi. Looks like tying his shoe. We got cold snack with the possession off that. Oh, save by Matt. Oh, Bianca. Nice save there. Looks like Liberty has the ball. Looks like we got a substitution for Colt Snack. And green ball. Throws it to the side there. Defense trying not him to let, trying to get him not through there. Brings it back behind the goal. Had a fair amount of success picking up scores off of that setup. Slow things down. Goes for the shot. Bounces off the goalie. Now Liberty has it. Two defenders on him there. Shot on goal goes wide. Got it picked up by Liberty. Brings it back up to center field. Joey Acquadino with the ball. Passed on to Paul Capozzi. Paul Capozzi looking for a chance to run in there. Good, good. 
Back to Paul. Paul finds his way through the middle. Looks like that's a loose ball push there. Pose is on the ground. It's a replay. Just gets pushed from behind. Ball is on the ground there. Got the back of his foot stepped on. Pulled the shoe off. Gonna walk that one off a bit. Looks like now we got Kaposi with the ball from the sidelines. Looks like they're man down, and that's a penalty there. And that swarming Cougar defense, as soon as that pass goes to White. Got scooped up by Liberty. Passes it to Kaposi in the center. Finds a gap there. Over to Akardino. Back to behind the goal. Misses the catch. Scoop. One fifty left to play in the third. Just get through there, passing it to the center. It's Paul Capozzi. Has to get in there. Finds a way in, shoots, and it goes in. <laughs> Kaposi with the score. Biden his time there. Colts next five, over the three, and here's a replay. Finds his way in there. Turns. Turns him, and then shoots out left handed, and it goes in. <laughs> Posey's been looking for an opportunity. Makes the most of that one. And Liberty back within two again. About a minute and 19 left to play in the third quarter. Here we go with the face off. Cole's not getting it. Cole's not trying to find a way to get that ball into the center there. Gets the ball checked out of his stick. Not sure what just happened there. Yep. Go for the shot and it goes in. What the Colts do? Sneak another one in. Colts next six. Hopefully three. Let's see if we can get a replay on that there. Number 10. That's number 10. Shoots it overhand, goes right Trino. into the goal there. Tino picks up another score for the day. Here we got Paul Capozzi from Liberty on the face off, and number 13. Marco Garcia. From Coltsnack, also on the face off. I wonder if his middle name is Polo. Really fighting for that ball there. And white ball. Quick side. I think Colts then pinned it down. Quick substitution. 30 seconds left to go. Oh, and, and 
Capozzi picks up his second score. Colts next six, Liberty four. A lot of teams will look at that clock, see 30 seconds left on it, and think, hey, we're good. And uh, Lions take advantage of the second there. Finding his way in, it's shooting, and it goes in. Well, we got 80 seconds left in the third quarter. Not a much time, not much time to do anything. Oh, Liam Hutchko here on the faceoff for the Lions. Colts next winds up getting the ball for faceoff. Five seconds. And it goes in, and they score in the last 17 seconds of the game. And they sneak in a score with about one second left. Pretty crazy how stuff like that can happen. That is nuts. Let's take a look here. Number 10 finds his way in, pulls the shot off, goes in. Just by. And well, that's gonna take us to the fourth quarter. Yeah. Oh, in the fourth quarter now, scores Colts next seven, Liberty four. It's definitely possible for Liberty to gain the lead here. Never know what could happen. Second half's been pretty, pretty even. Both teams scored four goals. Liberty really getting their um, comeback in this quarter. Definitely had that uh, that offense started moving. And this would be a good opportunity for us to take a quick look. Uh, JTV was uh, here grabbing some of those eclipse moments today. Take a quick look at uh, what some of what maybe JTV picked up here today during the great eclipse of 2024, as Mr. Noble likes to call it. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him this excited since uh, lunch. And there's a shot of the drone. Not exactly the eclipse, but uh, a pretty nice shot nonetheless. Oh, actually, I stand corrected. I did just see a Mitsubishi eclipse parked in the parking lot. And there we are. And the ref blows a whistle. Next time we have a timeout, I'm sure our crack uh, tech crew on the bus will be able to pull us a shot from that amazing eclipse. And looks like we got players taking their position shortly. Camera operators right now taking personal mental notes to bring an extra layer of clothes as well as a pair of light gloves. Just because it's the spring doesn't mean it's gonna be warm out. And it looks like a chair on top of that. Yep, that's the old Liberty Water Tower up there. Looked like a good place for tanning. Well, looks like we got Colts, net, Col Colts Neck taking their positions. Looks like we're going to start this quarter off with a face-off. And that looks like it's going to be Marco Garcia and Paul Capozzi. And that one poor guy that got left in the parking lot all by himself right there, the white car. Shot of that beautiful Liberty campus. And here we go with the game. Back live. Whistle blows. White ball. Posey has the ball. Passing it around there, trying to find someone that can hopefully get a shot off. Yep, and teams have switched ends again. Number one looks like, oh seven, looks like trying to 
set a pick there. Goes for the shot and it's in. That's good. That's Jeff White picking up his second goal of the day. Got Colson X seven, Liberty five. It's definitely possible for Liberty to take the lead here tonight. And that Liberty, uh, here we take a look at the replay. Gets the quick pass and puts it in the goal. Here we go, with the second face off of the quarter. Cougar has been, uh, they scored there in 40 seconds. And Cougar is very good at responding to when Liberty has scored so far today. Looks like Liberty getting the ball by a And defender. that's number 11, scoops it up. Pete LaBianca. We got a pass to Paul Capozzi in the center. Substitutes come in and out. Paul Capozzi trying to get that ball near that goal. He's Goes got for a shot, shot opening. Goes a little high. Get a replay on that there. It's like it went high right to me, Easton. I think so. And offensive teams do retain possession after a shot on goal that goes out of bounds. So we got Jeff Sounded White with the like. ball. It's poked in the helmet there. Takes the shot and well defended. Kosak does not get the catch there. Liberty trying to get that ball. Flag. And the flag comes out on Kaposi again. Seems to be drawing a fair amount of attention every time he's anywhere near the ball. See if we can get a replay on what just happened there. Oh, he's a marked man. Looks like we got a penalty for Colt Snack. Looks like they'll be running short of man. Got Jeff White with the ball. Passing it on to the center. Posey trying to find his way in there. Kaposi's got a really nice fake. Got Kaposi running in the center there. Out to the side. Back behind the goal. They're swinging around the back. And that's going to go in. Kaposi slips that one through. His third goal of the game. It is. And that brings the Lions within one. Here's a replay of that goal. Sneaks around the corner and slips it in. Really nice shot there by Kaposi. Slipped it in there, and it's got a one-point game here. It's really close. Really shows how how quick these scores can go. Got another face-off here. Liberty scooping that ball up. Not allowed to use your feet on that ball. Acardino making those running back moves. Not sure what just happened. Whistle goes off. We got a timeout here for Liberty. Yeah. See if we can get that um, wonderful solar eclipse. Yeah, this would be a great time to take a look. Let's let's uh, see what some of these fancy shots uh, 
our crack team uh, got today of that eclipse. Oh, they just informed me that we don't have any eclipse shots, even though we were out here shooting it for an hour. Okay there, if you'd like to check out the Eclipse, you could tune in on our cable channel or our YouTube channel, Jackson Liberty Television. It's probably labeled Eclipse. I'm sure they'll get back to me in a second and tell me what they named it. Solar Eclipse maybe. Mr. Noble's Big Day. Uh, don't look up, you'll go blind. Uh, turn to the game here. I, I guess they don't remember what they named it there, Easton. So I guess if you look on there, just I type in Solar Eclipse, it'll probably come up. Again, our uh, website, Jackson Liberty Television. It's our YouTube channel. Back to the game now. We got teams taking their positions on the field. Composi with the ball. About eight, almost nine minutes left to play in the game. And Liberty doing its fair share of scoring here in the second half. Got Capozzi trying to find his way to the center there. Sneaks past his defender. Push there. Really not get it, really not letting go of that ball. And that stick came over the top of his head. Take a look at the replay there. As a yellow flag did come out there. A little bit sooner. Let's take a look, see if we can see what happened here. Oh, looks like he gets hit in the neck there with the stick. That'll sting, huh? What do you think's the uh, the most painful place to get hit? Well, you don't have pads, that's for sure. Especially the neck, or like the leg, the shins. Leg, shins, yeah. Arms are pretty covered up, right? Yeah, you got suit comes a little down the arms, and then you got the elbow pads, and then the gloves. So arms aren't that bad, but it's really the legs that can definitely hurt. Well, it's a, it's a good thing the Noble family stands on some, some thick legs there, Easton. Good for you. On the male side, thick legs. Let's, let's be clear. And looks like 22 is Kyle Butcher. He's going to put this in play. Ref's going to pick up his yellow. 8.07 left to play. Again, uh, Cougars up 7-6. And Lions with the ball. Twenty-two passing on down to behind the goal. Pass to Capozzi again. Fixed Takes the up. shot and, it's, and it's good. We got a tie score here, seven to seven. All well, Capozzi picks up his fourth goal of the half. Here's that replay. It's past that defender there, past the other one. Went right through the legs there. Good shot. Hard to defend that shot. Definitely. Back to a face off and it's an even game here. Could end at a tie game here. And in lacrosse, there's no overtime. 
If it's a tie game, then it's a tie game. Ball goes to Green. Lions have been dominating possession here so far in this quarter. Let's see what the Cougars can do to bounce back here. Once again, we're all even here after a little over three quarters of play. Passing it around the goal here. Back to the center. We got the goalie getting the ball, clearing it off the ball, Posey, number eight. Trying to push his way through there. Out to Jeff White. Double covered there, really couldn't get a shot off. Well set up play though. Again, that Colts neck defense at its best when it's swarming to the ball, really making it very difficult for the Lions uh, players to get a shot off. Paul, looks like Paul Capozzi with the ball. Trying to find his way through or someone to pass it to. Gives it to Jeff White. Makes a shot oh, and he just misses. Just wide left. Get a replay on that there. Save number 11. Jeff White's gonna take this in. Replay here. This ball White. missed. <laughs> Just left. We got Liberty ball. Jeff White taken down from behind. Nice check there from number 22. And a score by Number nine, Number it looks nine like. Number nine comes in off the bench for the score. That is Christopher, looks like Cassatelli. Here's a replay here. Gets him with no defenders on him. Goes right past the goalie. And the Colts up 8-7. Go with the face off. We got Liberty coming out with the ball. Giving it to the goalie to clear it out. Getting it with looks like a Picked defender up. with the ball. So if he has the ball, he can keep moving, right? Yeah, as long as one of the midfielders stays back there behind the line. We got Capozzi trying to find his way through there. A lot of defenders across the middle there. One, two, three, four. Right in front of the crease. Probing there. Don't want Kaposi to get in close. Kind of find his way through there and he shoots and it's a goal. Tie game again with 8 8. 8 8 it is. Kaposi picks up his fifth goal. Didn't even have a lot of room there to work, to be honest. He finds that makes tiny gap and just makes the shot and it goes in. Yep. Fed it right between two defenders and the goalkeeper. 8-8, eight, eight, four minutes, just four minutes left to play here. As things continue to get very interesting here at 
the Lion Complex. Here we go with another face-off. Number seven from Liberty. Number 13 from Cold Snack. Cold Snack getting the ball. And some serious speed there. Take a shot and makes it in. Tyler Bowden goes coast to coast. Close game here in the last quarter. Uses his speed to get right past all those midfielders and shoots it in the net there. 9-8. Colts neck with nine. We got Paul Capozzi from Liberty taking the face off here. Wanna flip that score. Colts neck nine. Liberty eight. Liberty getting the ball off the face off. Almost slipping there. Passes to Joe Acardino in the center there. Acardino looking to work his way in. Passes it off. And a Goal nice save. Save number 12 for the day. Go with the replay. Nice scoop here. Ball blocked by Coltec and Coltec picking it up. Slide. And looks like a Coltec timeout. Coltec with the one point lead. An exciting game, a good game to cover today, huh? Definitely. Great it's way to kick off our, I guess this is the official kickoff to our spring season. This is our first spring sport we've been able to cover. Well, with the uh, rain and spring break kind of coinciding together like the perfect storm. It's been a really close game here in this last quarter. Them getting it tied and then Colts next scoring and then another tie. And then Colts next scoring again. It's been pretty back and forth, Easton. Yep. Sun continuing to set on us in the west. This field located back behind the main stadium. Pretty nice field, to be honest. Definitely uh, better. Lots of, lots of good grass out here. Yeah, I think it was way worse last year. Last year wasn't so good. Uh, they definitely uh, spent the last, uh, last year getting the grass growing out here. Shout out to our crack. Uh, grounds crew for uh, getting this field into some a pretty nice shape. Here we go with both the teams taking their positions. It'll be a green ball. Got three minutes and 14 seconds left. Liberty only down by one point. Number five here, starting off with the ball. Number two. Goes shot. for the shot, and the goalie saves it. LaBianca, Matt LaBianca's 14th save of the day. It off trouble. To Feeds it down the left side. Just gets that pass off. Ball rolls out of bounds. Green, Green ball. ball. We got the defender with the ball. Passes that all the way across the field. Kosnick rushing it back up field. Playing that. Ball running out of bounds. Nice check there. And it stays in. Two minutes left to play. 
Only down by one point for Liberty. Colts neck gonna try and find his way in there. The goalie oh, saves Oh, what a it. save! 15th save of the day for La Bianca. Whistle's blowing. Looks like Colsnack gets the ball again. Not sure why that happened. I think they subbed. Only a minute and 52 seconds left. And the yellow flag comes out at the coaching staff. Looks like we got the coaches fighting with the ref. We'll plead their case as to what happened there. The ref's doing his job to explain what just happened and what call was made. We also got some substitutions, it looks like. Yep, some subs do come in. Ref trying to explain to the Liberty coach about what just happened there. Again, only a minute and 52 seconds left. A lot could happen with almost two minutes in lacrosse. Uh, two minutes is uh, <laughs> pretty much a lifetime in lacrosse. Flag's gonna get picked up. Here we go. And ball's gonna come in on this side, it looks like. We got Green starting with the ball in the alley. Got Joe Aquadino on ball. Players waiting for the whistle. And here we go. Back underway. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Lots of speed here. Colt strike very, very fast. Or Colt's neck, I should say. Liberty defense not wanting them to get through. Liberty defense is going to have to play with some speed and aggression here. Minute and a half. It's a loose ball. And that's going to be a white ball. Here we go. Liberty with the ball. About a minute left on the clock. See if they can pull a shot off. Gives it to Joe Aquino on the center. Shot goes off the goal. 105 left to play. Liberty retaining possession. And Liberty's going to call a timeout. Only a minute, about a minute left. Yeah, with possession, good time to call a timeout here. Talk about maybe what they want to do to get it close. Uh, good time for us to shout out to our crew today. Did a fine job setting this one up and bringing you all the action uh, live and to our YouTube audience. This is definitely a nice game to kick off the season with. For sure, games also a reminder, not just stream, but also available for playback. Uh, you weren't able to catch the game live because of work or school or whatever, then uh, the Jacks Liberty Television YouTube page is a great place for you to relive the action. Here we go with Liberty taking their positions back on the field. Colts neck right behind them. Got Liberty 
starting off with the ball. It's like we, Paul Capozzi, number eight, starting off with the ball. Trying to find his way in the middle there. And, and it's, it's good. Goal. Capozzi delivers with 49 seconds left, and he ties things up here. And it's 9-9. Nine, nine. 50 seconds left to play. Replay here. here. They let the big dog run here. Fender slips and he gets right past him. And it's tie game again. Easton 9-9. Nine, nine. It's definitely been a really, really close game in this last quarter. It sure has. Got with another face off. Capozzi and Garcia on the faceoff here. It's a pretty big moment, determined possession here. Only 49 seconds left to play. And like you said, uh, these games ended in tie. There's no, no overtime. Faceoff, Liberty, oh. And that's White Paul. Loose ball push. 44 seconds left to go. Ball, go, ball goes to Paul Capozzi. Tries to get it through there. And it's, and it's goal. good. And that's Acardino with the score. Capozzi with a good pass. And Acardino's gonna pick up his second score of the day. So now what you see with only like 37 seconds left on the clock and Liberty up by one. Liberty's gonna try and just hold that ball as much as and, they can. And, and that was a 10 second score right there. So you can see, I mean, we've had two goals scored in the last 25 seconds. So this game is not over. Liberty not wanna take a risk here. Ball's loose still. Still loose, still loose. And Green calls a wise timeout here. 26 seconds left to play. We got Liberty up by one. Gaining possession there with 26 seconds left. Huge. Absolutely huge. As that ball was that ball was loose and was anybody's ball for a, a good five or six seconds. Definitely crazy what's happened in this past minute with two goals scored from Liberty. Coltsnack deciding what they're gonna do with this 26 seconds left. And then being down by one. <laughs> the referee kind of checks that ball. Got Liberty taking their positions, goalie getting in the net. Here we go. Looks like we got green uh, possession on the field. To quote Jimmy Connors, this is what they paid for. This is what they want to see. 26 seconds left to play. And it's green ball. This is very little time, but anything can happen in this amount of time in the cross. This is a good time for the, and here comes number 11. Misses the catch. He's gonna go loose. Gives it off to the center. He tries to get a check there. Shot, deflected, picked up. We got eight By seconds left on the clock. Offense again. Ball gets dropped. Ball's on the ground. And Capozzi fires it down. And that's game. And Liberty wins. And Liberty's gonna come away with a 10-9 victory here. Scores the winning goal with just 30 seconds left to play. And they hold on for what's gonna amount to be a pretty huge win. 
That for the upstart Lions. First game of the season for Liberty, and they already won it. What an exciting game for both teams, spectators. Uh, just a, an exciting game to watch. And uh, glad we could be here and be a part of it, Easton. Yep. Shout out to Easton Noble here, who did a great job of commentating with me today. What grade are you in, Easton? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. He's got a future in broadcasting, I tell you. Jeez. Talk the talk. Good for you. All right, listen, time for us to step aside. I'm Harry Ferrone. I'm Easton Noble. And we'll see you next time on JTV's Game of the Week.